My family may not be perfect. We may not always see eye to eye. But one thing we do agree on, we are for sure family. family it's Shay baby back with another video from the for sure family channel guys today I decided to get some wine and sit and have a little drink with you guys um, I love drinking wine so I got four different types of wine here I got some grapes um, some white sharp white cheddar cheese and I also have uh, my nice little cheese ball here um, never had this before so that's gonna be interesting different types of crackers and my grapes and I just want to you know I got different types of wine because they say you know each wine is different when it comes to eating food it just it tastes different so we're gonna try it out today and I'll let you guys know how maybe the cheese may taste a little bit more creamier I don't know or the grapes may be more sweeter or we'll see what the wine does to my palate every time I try um, a piece of cheese or grapes I have um, Pinot Grigio, uh, sweet red wine, Chardonnay, and Rosé. And we'll start, we'll start with the Pinot Grigio. I'm gonna have a little sip. Um, this is a whiter wine. Um, I'm gonna taste it and tell you if it's sweet or dry or not. Um, let's see. Um, it's not bad. Um, I've had it before. It's, I guess you would say this is a drier wine. It's not very, not very, very dry, and not um, too sweet at all. So if you're someone who likes sweet wine, you might not enjoy this one because it's not sweet, but it's not that dry. I'm gonna try some grapes with it. And then uh, when I try the next one, I'll tell you if the, the grapes taste you know, more sweeter or a little bitter or whatever the case may be. I've seen this in the store so many times and I always wanted to try it. I've never had it, if you can believe that or not. I've seen it at parties and I've always wanted to try it. I got many different types of crackers here. And um, we're gonna go ahead and try this out. See how it tastes. So this is a nice cheese spread. I can eat this, I like this. It tastes really good with the um, nuts that they have on it. I believe it's almonds. I do like that. Here's some cheese. I'm gonna have a little bit more of the wine. I mean, the grapes still taste the same. I'm like drinking the wine and eating them. Still taste, I mean, the wine changes a little bit as I eat more grapes and food. It tastes a little stronger, could be because it's just getting stronger because the more I drink, but. I like wine. Um, I went to a wine tasting place one time I don't remember the name of it. it was for my birthday years ago my friend took me and um, I liked it before I went there so we would always get together with my friends and drink wine it's something that I started drinking 
I would say in my later 20s. Before that, hanging with my friends, it was always beer or liquor or something like that. But as I got older, I started acquiring a taste for wine. And that's what I really like to drink now. All right, so now I'm gonna try the sweet red. Um, try to get everything out of my mouth. I'm gonna try the sweet red. And I wanna try to see if I can notice a change in like either whether if the cheese tastes better or the grapes taste sweeter. And let's see, so this should be a sweeter one. Yeah, not too sweet. Not like a Moscato sweet or anything like that, but it is sweeter. I like that one. So we're gonna try some more of this. Uh, let's try a different cracker here. But I do enjoy drinking wine. Let me tell y'all a quick story. My husband worked at this place. I don't remember the name. It was like a temporary job a couple of years ago. And they were going out of business, so they were trying to get rid of wine. And they said, you can take as much as you want. We had everything. It wasn't just wines, it was a lot of beer. But it wasn't like your Ice House or your Bud uh, Budweiser, or Natural Ice, those types of beers. It was like IPA, so it had that Guinness taste to it. So we were just giving it away. We, I mean, my husband drinks beer, he loves beer, but we were just giving it away. But what we did have also was a lot of wine. I can't remember what it was, but I want to say it was like, um, it would either be like the Chardonnay or the, the Pinot Grigio, one of those types of wines. So it was a drier wine, but all, <laughs> we had wine. I mean, I swear I was drinking wine every day. And my husband friends, um, we had them drinking wine. Everybody had wine. I remember going to one of his friend's house <laughs> and he had like 12 bottles of wine. Mind you, we were giving away by the boxes. Like we, it came with like maybe 12 in there um, and there'll just be a box, nine to 12 and there'll be a boxes of wine. And we were giving them away by the boxes and we went to his friend's house and he literally had like, I would say to be honest, like maybe like five or six wine bottles on his table, half drinking, and he was—he was just like he was like he was so happy to have this wine, and he just keeps saying, "I think I'm gonna start drinking wine." But that was just a little funny story, where we had so much wine and different beers, we was just literally giving it away, and the company was closing, so they was just letting us take as much as we want. But that was fun. My trunk of my car was loaded with wine. What'd your dad say? No, when my dad, um, when he seen it, cause I don't know why I went to his house and he was going through my trunk. I don't know if he was helping me with something with my car, but he was like, are y'all, he said, what is going on here? Where did y'all get all this wine from? Y'all running a brewery? <laughs> we had so much, it was, like I said, it wasn't just wine. It was different types of weird, beers like but they was mostly like IPA type of beers and it was just funny because he couldn't believe it he probably thought we took it or something but it was just the company was closing and they was just giving it away to the employees working there all you can want all you wanted all the beer all the wine all the little drinks they had you could get it for free so back to this um I'm gonna take another sip um and see if I notice anything different with the grapes or the cheese I haven't, I've got to talk, and so I'm going to take another sip of the sweet red. Nice. 
not too sweet, not too bitter. I like this one. I like it more than the Pinot Grigio one. I feel like I do get a little bit more, <clears throat> I wouldn't say sweetness with the grapes, but I do get a little bit, a little bit more grape flavor. Like the grapes seem a little stronger in taste. I'm gonna try some of the uh, white cheese. I actually like this too. Some good cheese there. I like this cheese. Very good. I do feel like I'm getting more flavor when I drink the sweet red. I'm not joking. I do feel that way. Like I'm getting a lot more flavor in this stuff. Now I'm not, you know, a professional when it comes to wine. I know certain wines are for certain types of foods, like you know, steak and thing like things like that, pasta. Let me know. Leave me a comment and let me know. Um, what should I really be drinking and eating? Well, what wine I should be drinking when I'm eating certain foods? Um, if you're some, somebody who enjoys wine too and you know a little bit more than me, leave me a comment and let me know. Say, hey, this wine would go better with a steak or with some spaghetti or a pasta or whatever, or cooking food. Let me know. Because like I said, I love to drink wine, but I've never really learn exactly what's the proper way to drink it or what foods I should be drinking what wine with. So definitely that's something I would love to know. These grapes are good. I should have got some of the um, the red grapes or the purple grapes and see how they taste. I haven't tried these ones yet. You gotta be careful with this cheese. It's, 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 it spreads easily, but it's a little thick. That's why I think I keep breaking the crackers when I'm trying to spread it, but that's okay. It'll be all right. whole grain or a wheat grain cracker. It's a little bit more grainier and drier, but it still tastes good with the cheese bread. So, like I was saying, I do feel like I did get a little bit more flavor, especially with the grapes when I drink the sweet red one, but it could be sweet and sweet, so who knows. Now, this is a Chardonnay. Mm, try that. Let's see how this one tastes. I think this one's a little drier than the, uh, let's see. Oh. This one's a little bit, um, I guess dry is the word. Mm. Tastes stronger. Could it be because I just am drinking each one, but. This is my least favorite. And this is a Chardonnay. Let's try something sweet with it. It definitely tastes different. I mean, still tastes like the grape, but it's more so like the sweetness is not the same to me. Let me try another one. 
Mm. Let me try the wine again. Yeah, this isn't my favorite one. It's kind of... I don't know. It doesn't have a, a good taste to me. Um, I don't like really... Like, I can drink Moscatos, but I just feel like they're kind of just too sweet. I like red wine that's sweet, but not super sweet like a Moscato would be. But I do like a sweeter wine. Um, so right now, I would say my favorite so far would be the sweet red, then the uh, Pinot Grigio, and then my least uh, is the Chardonnay. What I do want to say, when you go out, when you guys are out drinking, be safe. You know, don't drink and drive. You know, you hear about this so many times. People drink and drive and have accidents or lose their life behind it. So be responsible when you are drinking. If you know some, you're someone who drinks a lot. Excuse me. If you know someone who drinks, if you drink a lot, you know, get a designated driver right now. In 2019, and you know, we have Lyft, we have Ubers. You can always take a Lyft. You can always take an Uber if you're not, you know, if you're under the influence and you feel that you're not in a, uh, a state to drive. That was just my little tip of the day. It really does taste a little different. I'm trying to like figure out what it is like, but it really does taste different. Um, I mean, it's not like, it still tastes like the cheese spread, but I don't know. I feel like I was getting more flavor when I was drinking these two, really more the sweet red, I was getting more flavor out of the cheese and the grapes. But I still got one more to go. I think next time if I do like a little wine tasting, maybe I'll have like different foods like meat, pasta. That might be a little bit more easy to kind of tell the taste and which goes with which. And I also have like the crackers and cheese, but just have a little extra. Um, so I'm gonna try this one. Drink a little bit of this one, because I do like it. Cheers. Ding! <laughs> I like that one. That's my favorite. So guys, leave a comment. Let me know if you guys like wine. If you could suggest any different types of wine, your favorite, so I can try it. Let me know what you like to eat with your wine. Let me know when you like to drink your wine. Is it when you're just trying to relax or when you get off work? Some people like to have a cup in the morning. I don't know. Everybody's different. Maybe some people just drink when they go to vacation. Maybe when some people like to drink when, you know, just at a party. Everybody's different. Maybe you don't like wine at all. Maybe you're just like a nice scotch or whatever scotch is, a whiskey or a 
tequila or vodka. I don't know. Everybody's different. Everybody relaxes differently. Tell me what you like to do. Guess I should eat that. So I'm gonna get this down. I'm gonna try the rose. I wonder why, like I'm looking at the red and I'm looking at the Chardonnay. This doesn't have any bubbles in it. This one has like a few, but this one and this one, the Pinot Grigio and the Rosé have bubbles in it and I'm not sure why. Anybody know why? Let's see, let's try it out. So far, this side is winning. I, I really enjoyed these two. This side, the rose and the Chardonnay, mm, they're okay. I can drink them, but if I had, you know, I would prefer the sweet red or the Pinot Grigio. But it's not bad. I like this one better than that one. I don't know why. Let's try some of the grapes now. It's true, it makes the, brings out the sweetness in the fruit. And when I did eat the cheese with the Chardonnay, it didn't taste as flavorful, and it could be just the taste of the wine being overpowering the cheese as the, when I drink it with these two. But that can that could just be, like I said, drinking, switching from wine to wine, the wine being more powerful than the fruit and the cheese and the crackers, but. Um, I would say with the grapes and the cheese, I did feel like I got more flavor with the red one. I don't know. Like I said, just, you might, there may be something that I need to use to wash my palate with before I'm doing this. Like I said, I'm not a professional, let me know. Um, if there is something like a certain fruit or if it's just water or something like that, but that would clean and give me a better or more accurate taste when I'm trying the different uh, fruits and things like that, or cheese and crackers. But I would say overall, <sighs> Sweet Red was my favorite. Um, I've always, like, a majority of the time when I get wine, I always get a, a, a red one anyway. Mm. This, I would say, came in second, the Pinot Grigio, then the Rosé, then the Chardonnay. Um, I enjoy this cheese spread. Uh, I wish I had the name for it. For it. I got it um, at the grocery store. You can get it anywhere, Food Line, Walmart, Kroger. Have it in the cheese section, like where you're going towards the um, deli. Um, or, yeah, in the deli area. And it's, this isn't expensive at all. It's very cheap. Um, but I do enjoy that. So if you have a party, that's a great idea. I've seen a lot of people do it before. I just never tried it, but I will include it because I do like it. Um, guys, this was fun. I'm going to definitely enjoy drinking the rest of this wine, at least the red one. It's very good. I enjoyed it. <sighs> yes, my favorite. I had a good time with you all tasting the wine. Um, definitely, I'll leave a link in the description or at least so you'll know where I got it, some information. If it's not a link, then at least some information on where I got my wine from and what kind it is. Um, if you have any other questions, definitely comment, let me know. 
Um, any ideas on different wines that I should try, any brands, definitely let me know as well. Something flying around here. But I had a good time with you all, as I always do. Um, so until next time, see ya. This is a warm welcome from the bottom of our hearts from the Foreshore Family Channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Until next time, see ya!